All right, let's look at the king of local business directories, and that is Google Places. Google Places is a free local platform directory service provided by Google. It allows your business to appear on Google's Maps and search engine result pages. It allows you to better interact with your customers. Uh, and for example, Google Places allows you to respond to your customers, post new business updates, highlight special promotions, and learn about your customer base, as well as showing customer reviews, which is really important. You have customers that are happy with your service. You're going to want them to post their reviews in your Google Places page. The important thing, Google Places is free to use. And in fact, most of these local business directories are going to be free for you. There are a few that will offer paid upgrades as well. Now you can submit your business at the Google Places for Business page, which is located at this URL, google.com forward slash business forward slash places for business. And then just click on the Get Started for Free button that you see there. By the way, I'm providing a PDF document that you can download that is going to have all of these special URLs, so you don't have to copy them down in this presentation. They'll be available to you in a clickable form in the PDF document just to the right of this course. Or I should say just to the right of this uh, lecture. And you're able to download that and then click on each link and then follow along with the video to show you how to get started. So here's how you submit your business to Google Places. Number one, sign in to your Google account or create a new Google account for your business. Once you're there, the site will direct you to the box that will locate your business information on Google Maps. This will help people find a map of your business when they perform a search. So they're going to ask for your business information, your business address, and then they'll show you the map and how, that, how it looks on the map. Step two, fill in your business, country, and phone number and click Find Business Information. When you do that, Google will show your business location on its maps. If it doesn't find your business, you'll have to create a basic business profile for Google Maps. And all that means is just filling in your basic information, as you can see here, the street address of your business, the uh, city, town, state, zip, phone number, etc. All you're doing is filling in basic information about your business. The Google Accounts page allows you to create a public profile for your business. This is what customers will see when they perform a Google search on your business name or your business category. Step four, once your Google Map business information is uploaded and you've completely filled out your information, and all it is, again, is just filling out the form that Google provides for you, then uh, you'll have to verify that your business is a legitimate business. And this can be done by phone or by postcard. Verif verifying by phone is the fastest option. Now, when you verify by phone, what ends up happening is they, they send you a uh, text or they call you with a recorded message that gives you a special PIN number. When you verify by postcard, they will send you a postcard, sometimes in an envelope, sometimes in a postcard, and that can take up to a week, maybe 10 days to receive. So the phone verification is much quicker. It happens almost instantly, so you have to be ready for that phone call and ready to write down the PIN number. In either case, they're sending you a PIN number that allows you to go back and input it to verify your business. So, step five, once you receive your PIN number, you can activate your Google Places account on Google's dashboard site. So you're able to come in here and input your PIN number and now you're activated with your Google Places listing. Once you activate your Google Places account, your customers will be able to read your company profile and locate your business on the map. They'll also be able to find promotions, deals, and more. In fact, you can also upload photos and videos of your website in your Google Places listing. And one of the keys that I'm going to give you right off the bat is you want to fully fill out your Google Places listing. Don't leave anything you know, empty. Try to put as much information as possible in there. That is one of the ways, one of the more basic ways that you can optimize 
your Google Places listing. Now, as I mentioned, there are quite a few more advanced ways and techniques to fully optimize it so that it ranks higher than other people. And that's one of the things we do as a business. So you can contact me if you want uh, to learn more about that service.